You know, I want to show this. Whoa, coming to me right now. <laughs> you know, I took responsibility for these meditation and reading time. But I first want to thank uh, Pam, Gordy, Jeff, Ira, and Todd for their for the time they took to share part of their journey, their spiritual journey. I'm glad they ended up at C3, and, and we all are, uh, benefit with their insight and their willingness to help us uh, map our future. And I do believe that I like to, uh, would like to make this a monthly process because I felt really close to them and I felt part of them. And I think we could hear from all of the people at C3 and their spiritual journey and, their, their, and how they came here because we are diverse and our diversity is our strength. And we're going to need all of that as a community to face the tumultuous time ahead because we have evil on our doorstep. So, now, the poem I chose, uh, the reason I, I, I picked this poem is by Guido Gazella. He's a Flemish poet. And he's my favorite. So that helps. And when I, I was educated in the Netherlands, and in fifth grade, you start to memorize. Had a, I, I went to a school with the Bible, meaning every week you had a, a verse, a psalm, and in fifth grade, you had to have a memorized poem. And Guido Zelle was one of our favorite poems. Now, he was called the po poet of the people. He was also a priest, by the way, besides. <laughs> a poet of the people, the common people, because, first of all, he loved the Flemish language, and he, had he paid attention. He, his soul was listening. And he saw the common people, from, for instance, the plowman, the one that plows the fields. He would describe the early morning. He would describe the horse and the, the frost and, and, and the, in beautiful language. So this, this plowman felt honored by that, by that beautiful poem. And he would tell his family. Now, he did this with, with nature, with, with, with a, I mean, Everyone he honored with a beautiful story. And he became famous and he became loved because they could speak his language, they learned his language. So, and also he was popular because he resented, he was a priest, but he, re he resented what his church had done when they entered the arena, uh, arena of politics. It means our violence begets violence. And he felt that he abandoned the Prince of Peace, Jesus. They abandoned him. So and it kind of it sparked interest with the people. So what I like to do is recite the poem. But first of all, <laughs> you know, uh, some of our past teachers have said that in order to speak about a person or write about a person, you have to hear their voice. Well, last Friday morning at 5 o'clock a.m., I heard Guido's voice. And he said, Bernie, you're not a poet. It's obvious. <laughs> and I give you permission to translate that poem, but do not edit it. You have, and so you left out the most, my most important message, the most, you left it out. He says, fix it. So I did fix it. I apologize, and I did fix it. So I, I would, you have your bulletins right there. And I, so I, re, I fixed the poem, so I will read it. When the soul listens, everything alive speaks a language. Even the softest whisper has a voice and meaning. Leaves on the trees eagerly speak their name. Wavelets in the stream tell of their journey. Here, and here it starts. Winds that sweep the clouds, I mean, it is, it's an image, of course, it sweeps, it clears your mind. Reveal the intent of our creator, exposing and explaining words of deepest meaning. Now, in, in Flemish, it's, it's deep gedoken word, meaning it's, it's almost like your subconscious. 
When the soul listens, it can hear when a smile is born or the welling of a tear. So, I, to honor Guido, I, I will read it in Flemish. I recite it in Flemish and listen, just listen to the sound. And after, after we read the poem, I would like to have a, a, a observe a, about one minute of silence. Can we have that? And when our soul listens, may we hear the cries of the ones wounded by war or hear the whispers of hope when anger subsides. We live, Corey and I live in a very mixed family, political and religious family. And lately, the taunts in, uh, all have disappeared, a silence. And I think in that moment of silence when all these thoughts, when people come realize they have made a mistake, it, instead of saying, I told you so, I think we should listen with our soul and listen for words of fear or maybe suppressed anger. And, and may, And may we strengthen our resolve to be an agent for peace. And that applies to our community. Okay, and I will now recite. <clears throat> Als de zielen luistert, spreekt het al een taal dat leeft. Lijzigste gefluister ook een taal en teken heeft. Blaren aan de bomen, kouten met elkaar gezwind. Baren in de stromen, klappen luid en wellen gezin. Wind en wee en wolken, wegelen van zijn heilige voet. Talen en vertolken, diep gedoken woord zo zoet. Als de ziel luistert, kun je horen, wanneer het traan welt en een glimlach wordt geboren. Zal we harmonisch zijn. <tied> 